guys welcome back to my channel my name is Ams and the weather is good today so I decided to do a plant haul and I would like to share to you some of the stuff and some of the plants that I bought in collector's garden that's in Melbourne Victoria and they have beautiful nursery and beautiful display so let's start guys so first thing here this is a little cactus and this is like a crested cactus so this one is Sirius Peruvianus Monstros. That's the name. Here and that's the plant. It looks beautiful, isn't it? It's crested one. I really like crested succulent and crested cactus because they are so interesting to look at and very different. There you go. Beautiful. Okay. So this one guys is $12. I'm going to leave the price here guys and let you know the prices so that you will know and have an idea how much the range of prices in that nursery. So another one is this. So this one is Sirius Ming Ting. It's another crested one. The color is so dark, you know, dark green. Beautiful plant. So here you go, $12 and that's the name. Very cute little plant. All right. Next is Hillju Winteria Arispina cristata. Another crested cactus. Look at the spikes around the leaf. A yellow one. So that adds color to this little cactus. The next one is, is Espostua Melanos Tele. So this one has a hairy stuff around the cactus. It's like a cottony, cottony stuff that covering the cactus. Here you, go. Here you go. So I have three there and this is $15. Pretty, isn't it? Pretty thing. Alright. The another one is a succulent. So this one guys, this one is a Echeveria Trumpet Pinky. If you are into succulent, you know this is expensive at the moment here in Australia. Especially if you buy it online, it costs you like $60 above. So, but for me, this is cost $30. $30? and online it costs like $60 to $80 so then I decided to take it there you go beautiful plant nice color nice blue color and and the tip have this red or pinkish color next one is Echeveria Maruba Benitsu Casa look at the color guys so pretty color. So here you go. Look at this guys, nice color, Echeveria. See? Those are uh, side of the leaf. And if you look at it closer, those margins on the leaf got this dark, nearly nearly black, <laughs> nearly black or brown around the leaf. Pretty, isn't it? So this one here, how about this? So this one here, guys, these are all air plants. So I'm not into air plants, but then when I saw this beautiful color and you don't need soil to display this you just you can just hang this everywhere if you have some decorative pots like this you can just put it like that and that's it you don't need water you can put it indoor inside your house and display it where they can get at least a bright light and yeah you have a plant you see and they are air plant you just mist it once in a while give it a mist and they will survive so let's look this one closer. So I have few here. 
So this one here, guys, this is um, Tilancia bulbosa. Look how creepy is that? It's beautiful, isn't it? Nice curly leaves. Look, curly leaf. And this one is nine dollars for this little one. It cost me nine dollars, but it's additional to my collection. See how it goes with this? I don't have experience in looking after air plants, but I'm willing to try it. So that's one. Then we have another one here. Nice pink color. There. Now this one is. Tilancia Ayunatha. Look at that color, guys. Beautiful pink color. And this cost me $8 for this. So the next one is another, looks like sign, but this one is a little bit darker than this one. Look at this. Beautiful. Look at those darker pink color and with a violet purple flower and this is Tillandsia Ayunatha Mexico there's the name and this one is seven dollars so this one guys cost me seven dollars for this little one but it's pretty isn't it pretty beautiful I'll put there no, later on now next one so next this one here same same with this one but different this one is has a stronger leaf i think and nice darker pink color with the sign purple leaf Here you go now this one is another tilansa tilansia ayunasa and this cost me eight dollars there you go beautiful plant okay now this one is another air plant and look at those it looks like a orchids isn't it beautiful no it looks like um bromelias so this one here guys looks like bromelias it's a little bit bigger and look at the flower pink flower with a purple on top of it so beautiful, beautiful. look at this guys pretty mm. Those leaf and flower, but I think if there's no flowers, it looks like just a grassy one. <laughs> pretty, isn't it? Pretty, pretty, beautiful plant. Okay, now put it here. See, just put it there like that. They're already pretty, they're already beautiful. And you have a plant, you can put it in your shelving inside the house. Beautiful. Okay, so you remove. Put it back. Okay, so there. This one is another Tillandsia. And look at that flower there, guys. Beautiful flower. Looks like bromeliad as well. So this is, this one cost me $10. Bigger one. It's ten dollars. So that's what it looks like, guys. Still have another one here. <laughs> so this one here, guys. Uh, my husband is the one who bought this one because he loves penguin. So he grabbed this penguin with a air plant here, the lunch plant, and yeah, and this cost him. This cost him twenty-two dollars he loves penguin so but it's mine now look how pretty is that hmm? beautiful guys isn't it can you look at that well oh yeah see beautiful and there is a air plug beside it pretty little thing isn't it Cute. the next one i'm going to share to you guys it's not a succulent or it's not a cactus it's another i think these are air plants as well so this one here, it needs to be, so it's always sitting in the water. And yeah, they're beautiful plants. So they are, they call it gobble, gobble guts. 
<laughs> cobble guts. So I don't have idea of this kind of plants, guys, but they are beautiful. So this plot here, they are cobble guts and they commonly called trumpet feature plot. And look at the color, guys. How beautiful is that? Pretty looking one, isn't it? And when you look at inside, they have lots of bugs in there, lots of fly, mosquitoes and everything. So if you have mosquitoes in the house or flies, this plant is very nice or very good into it because all the flies and insects are attracted to what inside of this. So when they go in there, they stuck in there. They can't come out. I don't know why, but yeah. As of the moment, if I look at it, there are lots of stuff and bugs inside this beautiful trumpet here. Then <laughs> look pretty. So the color of this is like dark red or burgundy. So beautiful. So no, pretty thing. Okay. And then I have this white one here. Beautiful as well with burgundy stripes. So this one here, this trumpet here, is a white one with burgundy stripes. So I let it sit in the water and put it in the area where they can have some food like those insects. Okay. So now this one here cost me, this one is $18. And then this little one here is also $18. It's only in little pot. All right, so I have another one here. This one is a small one. Here is the sign. This is also gobble guts. They are carnivorous plant. They eat those flies and insects. Red or dark burgundy color. And it's beautiful, isn't it? Beautiful. Now this one, I'm not sure if there's a box inside. I'm not sure, I can't see a thing. Oh, look at this how beautiful is that can you see it it's pretty isn't it pretty beautiful thing so let's continue guys i have this one here if you see this this is another one it's a hanging one. Oh, by the way Hang on. So this little one here, guys, this is $12 for this little one. They're beautiful color. And I have another one here. This is a hanging one. It's a uh, same thing with this one here, but it's just hanging. And this one cost me $20. See the beautiful trumpet here. So you can just hang this one like that and you have a nice interesting hanging plant isn't it and look at those trumpet guys so beautiful pretty so let's get closer here you go guys so it's another gobble guts they call see the trumpet see how beautiful is that pretty one isn't it so this one got a same thing burgundy splash of burgundy and around the around this hole here around the mouth around the mouth it's a burgundy color as well there you go beautiful isn't it guys pretty thing and I also got this old man's whiskers i like it now i i bought few of these before but then when i put it somewhere here in the garden like i hang it here like this or hang it around the garden the birds will go in to pick it and then they will make it their nest so this time i got another one and i will go in to put this one inside the house not here outside because I will just lose it because the bird likes it. So yeah. So this is another air plant. All 
right there. Pretty thing, isn't it? So let's put it here. There you go. What else? So guys, I think we're finished with the plants. Now I'm going to show you the parts that I got from Collector's Garden. So I have here a few parts. So look at these parts, guys. Beautiful. I see a lot of these selling online. But then I decided to get this when I saw it in Collector's Garden or Collector's Corner. And it's beautiful. A pretty thing, isn't it, guys? A pretty pot. Look at closer. So beautiful, so pretty. And there's a hole and there. It looks like a goddess, isn't it? So so this one guys cost me $25. Over here. Three. Next one. So next one we have Grooty. I think that's what the name is, isn't it? Grooty. <laughs> So Grooty cost me $15 for this. It's a decent size and it's beautiful. There you go. Say hello to everyone, Grooty. Oh, you're so cute, isn't it? So there's the hole there on top. And then you have the drainage there. So this one here, I have these little ones here. They are just a shell, decorative one. So this one, guys, cost me $10. Here you go, guys. It's pretty. So what I'll do with this is I'm going to use this with my air plant. Like this and put it like that. And put it in the shelf inside the house. Then I have another one here. There, it's nice color. Yeah. Pretty, isn't it? So we put one. Let's try. We'll put there is this one. Okay. That's perfect, isn't it, guys? Pretty. I think that's it for today, guys. I already show you everything. And if you go and visit to that uh, nursery, you will be amazed because they have a lot of display that you can look at they have this beautiful greenhouse that's full of succulent and cactus display and they have lots of variety to choose from so so that's it for today guys i hope you enjoy our plant haul for today and it is a good weather here today so i'm going to spend time in my garden and do summer party and i hope you have a nice day ahead of you and I hope I will see you next time. Bye!